Hey everyone, I'm Maria. Hi, I'm Ellen, and welcome to our channel. Today we have a really cute craft for you guys to kind of cheer everyone up because it's cheery. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's such a heartwarming and inspirational craft, Maria. Yeah, I got these these plaques at the Dollar Tree. So surprised that they actually had something in my Dollar Tree, so I got a bunch of them. And I thought, how cute would it be to not put the word bee, but to actually show the word bee, or the picture of a bee. And we'll be showing you a technique that I used to do when I worked at the ceramic studio. I used to do it all the time there, and just one day before I was doing this craft, I thought, would it work on other surfaces? And it worked, and you guys will see what that technique is pretty soon here. And I could have used stain, but my the stain that I have is a little bit too dark, so that's why I'm just watering down the, the paint. And like you can see in the wood, it all really depends on the wood, how dark it is gonna show up. So I just put water over it and was trying to lighten it up a little bit. So that technique I was talking about, get tissue paper. Everyone has tissue paper around. Oh, definitely. And you know what, if it's kind of wrinkled, it's okay, because our mother, Maria and <laughs> mine, <laughs> uh, she taught me a technique that uh, was pretty easy. You have, if most people have an iron. You just iron tissue paper if it's wrinkled and it'll smooth it out. It's pretty cool. Which, yeah, it is very cool, because I just found that out the other day when you told me. I didn't know mom, iron tissue paper you know what you do with what you got so yeah pretty cool so you just print out the image in black and white clip art put tissue paper over it and just trace it out with a pencil So there you've got the B on there, and then you can print out anything that you want. And we just thought it would be fun to put B kind. And, and what is it, L? Be yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we're just wacky. That's okay. We're being ourselves. <laughs> okay. Then, Sorry. So then with the tissue paper, because it is so clear, you get a really good idea of where you want to put it on any surface that you put it on. You get a Sharpie or um, an artistic pen, anything that you have, uh, and just trace it out. And the cool thing about it, it goes right through the tissue paper onto the surface that you're copying it onto, or tracing it onto. I used to work at the ceramic studio. We used to do this on ceramics before we painted them, and it just came out perfect every time. Never failed. No, that that's a great technique and really simple. It seems like a, a, the, a simple concept, and look at that. There's our little bee. Right. Our little honey nut Cheerio bee. I know. He is. He's so fun. You're right. So with this one, I, what I wanted to do was I wanted to use a my wood burning pen. That's what I'm using right here, and I just went over before I painted it with the wood burning, so it would uh, make it look cool. It just gives it some depth too. It does as, as it goes through it. Yeah. No, that's really it. Looks good. It really um, makes it stand out. And just make sure when you, if you do use a wood burning pen, that you 
don't reach over it to pick up a paper towel and burn your arm like I did. <laughs> oh no! Oh my gosh! I know you can totally see which tip of the pen I was using. It's oh, okay. Oh my goodness! I survived. So yeah, be very careful. Yeah, right, be careful there you when go. You're doing this. <laughs> but uh, yes. Um. Right. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> but I will be doing a craft. We'll be putting out another video really soon um, for spring, which I'll be doing the same technique of transferring the letters onto another surface and painting it. So you'll so you'll see that you could just paint in the letters. Also, you don't have to use a wood burning pen. Well, it's nice that uh, there's options for for people don't, that don't have a wood burning pen, and and they can still get the same effect. Oh yeah, I mean. Personally, I prefer doing it this way instead of going out and spending a lot of money on a machine. So, it, it, so if I can do crafts in a way that gives me the same exact results and save a bunch of money, that's what I'm going to do. That's how I do all my crafts. But the wood burning pen is fun. It, you just need to be really careful, and it does get hot. So, but it, but the results are really cool, though. Oh, and it looks so good with the paint. Oh, it really stands out. Yeah, so be kind and be humble and just be yourself. And I thought that's really a good example for everyone to live by right now. Oh, I think so. So inspirational. So I used the paint bottles to measure out so it was exactly the same length all the way around. Just got black belt to finish off the back and cut those out. And then they do have those pins at the Dollar Tree, the white markers. They show up really well on the on the black felt. So that yeah, I don't know. Line. Unless you use chalk or something, I don't know what else you would use. And putting this video together and, and looking at all the clips, Maria, I know I was telling you that. It just made me feel so good, and it just warmed my heart to, to read these things and to have them as, as reminders of just things that we should hold true every day. Right. Flame finishing is something that is definitely optional, but when you purchase the rope, sometimes it has a little um, straggly ends or the frayed ends on um, throughout the rope, and so this technique definitely finishes it off makes it smooth and you have a beautiful product <laughs> so i really hope you guys enjoyed this little cheery craft that we put together for you guys i love i love it oh it looks great thanks so much for watching and everybody take good care bye bye